How do you spring clean for your oral health? Tune in to this week's Dental Hygiene Wednesday to find out. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm the lead hygienist here at Dublin Dental Care. I want to thank you for joining us this week for our Dental Hygiene Wednesdays. Every week we like to cover a different topic that our patients or viewers may be interested or might give them a nice tip to help keep their mouths nice and healthy. I hope everybody enjoyed their Easter, which was part of the topic for last week's video. We talked about different candies that are best for your teeth and different candies that are worse for your teeth and ways to help keep your mouth nice and healthy while still enjoying those sweet treats. Spring is finally here. The sun is coming out more for us and it's nice and warm outside and hopefully you all are getting out and enjoying the weather. Um, a lot of people in this season like to do some spring cleaning, so we decided that this week's topic would be spring cleaning for your oral health, making sure that the products that you're using are actually doing their job. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is toothbrush. There are a couple things we need to remember as far as your toothbrush goes. It's important to change your toothbrush out every three months. And it's also important to throw it out after if you've had some sort of infection, whether it be a cold or the flu. Um, I'll tell you why. With changing it out every three months, the reason why we tell you to do that is as you brush, your bristles will start to bend or even start to wear down a little bit. And as they do that, they are not reaching the grooves and the cracks that are in your teeth as well as they should be. So therefore, they're not doing their job and they're not getting your teeth cleaned out as well as it should. So important to change it out every three months. And then as far as if you've had a cold or flu, these bristles help get rid of bacteria, but they also can hold it. So if you've had the flu or cold, that bacteria could be trapped inside the bristles. And if you use your toothbrush again, you could possibly get reinfected. So make sure after you've had some sort of infection, whether it be cold or flu, you toss your toothbrush and get a new one. We don't want you to get sick again. Another thing, that we want to make sure you have plenty of is floss. A fun fact is that if you floss daily, which you should, you should be using about 18 inches of floss. That way you have plenty to wrap around your fingers so you can move the floss around the way that you need to. But using 18 inches of floss a day means that you will use approximately 45 feet of floss in a month. So you need to make sure you have plenty of floss at home that way you don't run out and you don't have an excuse not to floss. Another thing to think about is your mouth rinse. It does have an expiration date, so make sure you check that and make sure you don't use expired uh, mouth rinse. The reason why that is important is that not only will it lose the flavor as it gets expired, but it also uses the ability to fight off the bacteria that's in your mouth. So it's not actually going to be doing its job if you're using expired mouth rinse. So check that out. Another thing is if you come to our office and you have to get ClinPro, this also has an expiration date. So make sure that you are aware of when this expires so you can keep track of it and make sure you're using a toothpaste that is not expired. Otherwise, it's not really doing its job. So keep that in mind. And then the last thing is it's starting to become wetting season. A lot of people like to whiten their teeth. They're outside more, you get that tan. Your teeth look nice and white. So if you do have whitening gel, this has a shelf life of approximately 18 months, as long as you keep it in the fridge and cold. Um, so make sure you keep track of when you bought it, when it expires. It can possibly use the ability to be able to whiten your teeth the way that you want it to and the way that we want it to. So just be aware that you know when your items expire and that you're changing your toothbrush out the way you should and have enough floss on hand so that you'd never have an excuse not to floss. I wanna thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate the fact that you guys tune in every week. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at christina at dublindentalcareohio.com. Check out our webpage, dublindentalcareohio.com. And feel free to leave any comments or like our videos. We love hearing back from you. Have a great day and enjoy spring. Hi guys, here at Dublin Dental Care this quarter, 
We are giving away a gas grill and accessories for our referral program. We want to thank you for all of your referrals. That is the best compliment you can give us for the work we do here. Uh, don't forget, along with the entry into the drawing, you will get some sort of gift card for referring any friends or families you may have. So send your referrals on over and hopefully you win that awesome grill package.